Well, I've been researching in my book on cowboy gear, and the boots that I've got on him date from about the 1870s and not the 1880s and 90s. And uh, these boots here, which I'll put a picture of up on my uh, video here, uh, date from that period, the 1880s to 1890s. And these are um, what is called uh, uh, mule uh, ear boots, or they have mule ears for pulling the boots up on. Now there were two different types. There were types with leather and there were types with uh, uh, material, uh, cloth or cotton or canvas or something. But uh, I'm going to take the this type because I think it looks a little more interesting. And I'm going to change the structure of the boots a little bit. And i got to do that before I can do the shirt because the shirt's going to be draping over part of the boot. So anyway, that's what I'm going to basically do today is just start, uh, restart the boots and, uh, and change them. The first thing I do is uh, even out the top and it won't be uh, up in the front like I had it. So that's what I'm going to do here. It won't change a lot of the sculpture for this part of the uh, figure because quite honestly I hadn't done that much down this area. I was saving it for, well basically now. I'm going to cut down the size of the width of the boot because the old 1870 boots were just a little bit wider and probably to accommodate big pants. The boot a little higher. spurs out of wax, uh, mainly because uh, it holds its shape better than the clay does. Another photograph that shows the same style of boot but uh, with a plain leather pattern which probably a little more higher m amount of money would have paid for a uh, boot with a pattern in it compared to a cheaper boot with no pattern at all. Anything that takes time costs more money and you know, especially in boots. So I don't think people would be wearing really expensive boots to do cowboy work or cattle driving or stuff like that unless he's the owner of the ranch and this guy doesn't look like the owner of anything. Uh, a couple of cowboys roping, but this guy's got the same kind of boots and you can see there's no pattern in his boots and there's just a little bit of wrinklage, uh, you know, because of uh, movement of the boot and all that stuff. So that's what I'm going to work on. There'd be a like a wrinkle back here and a wrinkle here. More than likely a wrinkle that continues around here. Yeah, 
Got to be careful. Don't want to cut into the body of the uh, or the leg of the cowboy, but uh, I'll put a few wrinkles in this boot. This one works out just fine. Yeah, I'm going to draw a little bit better pattern to go by. Let's uh, redo this and I'll do it with a pair of scissors this time. better. Okay, let's start cutting out these mule ears. Okay, one's done. Looks a lot better. It looks more proportional now. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and continue cutting out the pattern for the mule ear for the other boot, but the other boot still has to be done yet. And I don't have time enough today to do the, the other one, so I'll pick that up Monday. And uh, I'm going to work on a detailing around the top of the boot as far as the pants leg goes. Uh, Monday, well, you just take one step at a time. And uh, have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you next uh, Monday.